here I am. Yeah, look at that. Suffolk Triumph. Yeah, look what I'm on as well. This little baby. This was the bike that made me go out and buy uh, Buddy, the T100. Let's get on the road. See what this is like. Hopefully the camera's okay. See the clock. Dial's on. Brrr. There we go. Someone's been knocking the mirrors. But we'll see when we get going. That should be fine. Oh, listen. Oh, listen to that rumble. That's what got me so excited about it the first time I rode it. But they've changed the name. They've not changed the bike. Not as far as I'm aware. Yeah, this of course is still got the street twin thing on, but this will be coming up for sale soon as an next demo. Yeah, as the new ones come in. So yeah, so let's uh, quick refresh. Um, oh, Mickey Mouse mirrors, marvelous. Need to adjust that one a little bit. There we go, perfect. Um, round clock, just one, no chrome or anything uh, warning lights round the side um, we are just entering a thaw yeah it's um, it's about one degree now which is marvelous isn't it yeah when it's been like minus 15 at times um, we've got this lovely uh, twin engine uh, twin cylinder um, 900 engine it's just marvelous lovely rumble um, controls dead easy um, I'm not going to be out long on it uh, because I don't need to just to refresh my memory do I uh, brakes everything dead straightforward clutch easy not the lightest but not heavy just easy you know if you have problems pulling that then maybe you should be riding a motorbike I don't know unless you've got a problem of course then it might be important um, uh, the color this color it's like um, oh, I don't know what they call it it's that sort of matte glittery type paint um, it collects the dust I think yeah although not in this weather um, it's just a fantastic little bike and it's sort of one of the starter bikes for the classics isn't it I think these cost about eight and a half thousand pounds so one thousand five hundred pounds more than the gold star um, and £1,800 more than an interceptor um, slightly more modern looking than the Bonneville I think uh, that's what I'd say but this little baby like I say this got me onto the T100 I heard this I thought I've got to have a T100 just because I prefer the looks but of course the T100 is another good grand on top maybe £1,200 on top I don't know um, but I thought from the Triumph range everyone compared the BSA to the to the uh, Bonneville but it's, it's this is the nearest I think um, in price anyway like I say um, 1500 quid difference something like that maybe 1700 pounds depending on what models you go for and things um, but how does it comport well you can't compare it this is my point everyone's comparing the BSA to the Interceptor um, they've sort of admitted that they can't compare it to the Bonneville well you can't it's a 900 cc engine for a start um, and a lot more money it's, it's chalk and cheese really so um, I can't really do it I can't really do it that's what I thought I'd do um, the foot pegging this, this this has got a low seat height 
like the bon uh, like the BSA, but um, the foot pegs seem higher. My knees are much more bent. It's not uncomfortable. I, 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 as Dave will tell you, I'm six foot two. Um, Uh, with a 34 inch inside leg um, and this feels actually smaller than the BSA and it possibly is I can't remember the exact seat height but there you go don't know what that car's doing he's going to try and sneak past that lorry um, obviously the sound is nothing like one because this is a bigger engine and two because it's twin cylinder um, so we can't even compare it on that really can we this is a lovely sound don't get me wrong it's marvelous but it is I mean just listen to it it's just wonderful uh, lots this is obviously a lot quicker but again we can't compare because uh, different engine size different brake horsepower oh this is marvelous <laughs> it is if you bought one of these I bet you smile a lot I bet you do um, yeah it doesn't have all the fancy clocks like uh, buddy but you know <laughs> the grin factor is still there this is a sporty number um, this is like if they made Bonnevilles today when they do I know but imagine go with me um, if they made Bonnevilles today this is what they'd have come out like do you know what I mean? I, I can't, I'm not explaining it very well, just a bit wary of ice at the moment. Um, yeah, this is what this is what they'd look like. Uh, and they'd be splendiferous for it. You'll see when we do a little walk around. Um, and like I say, this is just a recap. Um, I have ridden it in between but uh, I haven't done a review on it because I just like to ride it and I like to make sure that what I'm saying yeah um, for my own mind you see and you've got to remember everything I say is what I feel you might feel something completely different and I'm open to that that's fine but yeah now that also brings me full circle back to the BSA um, the BSA is a new bike it's a bike for today it is um, even with the USBs and the electrical takeoffs and stuff and that Rotax engine that whilst it hasn't been proven yet Rotax they've been making motorcycle engines for a very long time competition competition engines um, and uh, yeah I'm sure that engine's going to be pretty solid uh, and it's a 650 single you know you can't really go wrong um, this oh, it's a, also a well proven engine but also has some issues doesn't it people have mentioned gearbox problems um, the gearbox on this is as someone criticised me for, uh, I think for oh, well criticise is strong um, what I would say is they commented on the fact that I said that uh, uh, Triumph gearboxes perhaps weren't the best um, and I stand by that and by that I don't mean that the brake or anything like that but I'll tell you what they're a bit clunky aren't they if we're honest with each other <laughs> they are they make it you know when you're in and out of gear and there's nothing wrong with that I don't mind that at all like that clunk clunk again every time yeah um, 
suspension's marvellous on it for these speed bumps. Bumpity bump. Yeah, so that BSA gearbox, absolutely fine. Yeah. Um, so we can't really compare them on that either. Uh, so looks well, of course. This isn't based on anything. It's based on a street twin. Yeah. Um, the BSA is supposed to look a bit like the Gold Star, but I mean they made Gold Star for decades and decades and changed the model as the as they went along. And the new BSA is supposed to look a bit like the 50s Gold Star, but. Uh, it, 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 yeah, everyone sees it and they know it's a BSA and most people see it as a gold star even though it is quite different but it's only different in the same way that Triumph and every other um, retro style bike comes out right so we've come to the end of the road here so I'm just going to see if I can find somewhere to park on here um, and if I can I'll do a little video from here. That'd be nice, won't it? Yeah. I wonder if I could just pull it up here. Um, that'd be nice, wouldn't it? Look at that for a view. It's quite icy still here. Look at that. So I'll just park here and we'll see. Let's have a look. I'll get the other camera out. All right, here we are. Yeah. Triumph Street Twin 900, the Bonneville's entry market bike. Yeah, it's quite splendid really. Uh, I loved it the first time I rode it. I still love it now. Even though it's got alloy wheels, you know, like spoked wheels. Alloy wheels, easy cleaning, easy maintenance for winter and stuff. A lovely little short pipe. Um, and now, of course, they're called the Speed Twin 900, which is... Marvellous, isn't it? Um, about eight and a half thousand pounds, maybe a bit more, I don't know. But single disc on the front, liquid cooled, it's got a radiator. I know you don't like radiators. Um, it's not as big as the BSAs, I suppose, but it's still there and it's still a radiator. Very dirty. How oh, far they're not going to be pleased with me. Look at the state of this. Uh, this was clean when I set off. Marvellous. Um, very low seat height. Can't get around that. It is. Um, you might like that. Doesn't bother me one way or the other. It's fairly comfortable to sit on. Uh, nice big headlamp. Indicators of fairly standard stuff. Little tiny uh, mudguard. Plastic. Yeah, plastic. Um, but a bit short and it's throwing everything up that radiator you can see um, getting really splashed you can see it everywhere this colour um, well it's sort of a matte green very army looking I think isn't it um, but I like I like these grills I hope they've kept those in where they've put speed there I suspect they probably have uh, no fancy suspension on it but it's pretty decent um, I've put it up against the gate so I can't really get in this side <laughs> there you go it's your Brembo brake um, and then that big clock which I think deflects a bit of air from you I don't know because it does seem pretty um, free of breeze when you do that when you're going along yeah marvellous Mickey Mouse mirrors uh, what more can I say? That's about it. Um, more modern looking than the Bonneville, obviously, which is why I went for the Bonneville, because I wanted something more retro looking. But this um, is an half decent bike. I really like it. But you'll notice, no centre stand. Yeah, no centre stand. And I don't know if they've taken other stuff off as well. The seat. It's pretty comfy. It's got Triumph on the back. Nice little light there. Um, 
doesn't seem to throw much muck up onto the seat that I can see. That's always good. Uh, controls, all pretty standard and basic. There's not a lot there. Horn, indicator, mode. Um, uh, what hazard warnings, starter, information for changing your trip and stuff. That's it. That's that's what you get. Um, but of course you get that marvellous sound from these exhausts as well. Yeah, a good base, a good starter bike. Marvellous. Triumph Bonneville Street Twin. Yeah. So, here we are. Time to get gone. Uh, this is the Maybush. Good food and stuff here. Nice in the summer, but it does get busy. Um, we'll get on the way. Turn it on. Oh. Oh, listen to that sound. Marvellous. It's got rev counter there looking digital. I've just switched it on to. Oh, and we're off. Listen to that sound. It is. Marvellous, it did excite me. And in summer, oh, when you can open it up a bit more. So, we best do the senses. Um, if we start with taste, seen as though we've been at the May bush there um, their food tastes marvelous I'm not gonna taste this no um, and then uh, the smell well it's a cold day you know on a cold day uh, scent is everything especially with a bit of heat and this still smells marvelous yeah, new bike smell still, even though it's been a busy voyage, I should imagine. Um, then to touch, uh, uh, quality, you can feel it, it's a solid little bike. Um, I'd like a, a glossy a glossy tank. This has sort of, it's sort of slightly grippy, yeah, slightly grippy is what I'd say. Um, and then what have we got uh, to look at well it's a marvellous looking bike everything looks just right in proportion even though it feels small to sit on um, everything just feels uh, looks right yeah Um, and then the sound well any shortcomings on any of the other senses it makes up for um, on the sound the sound is just marvellous even though I'm taking it steady on these icy roads um, and that brings us right up to the sixth sense how does it make me feel well it makes me feel the same as it did the first time it makes me feel a bit naughty uh, it makes me feel very happy um, um, so splendiferous yeah one of the highest rankings you can have um, oh, my mind's not changed on that um, the only thing for me that spoils it is not having two clocks and a bit of chrome yeah but I could live with it I, um, but I don't need to because I've got Buddy who sounds different slightly but it's still got that grumble from the engine a marvellous grumbling sound um, would I own one? yeah I would um, if I didn't have Buddy um, and I nearly did buy one of these instead 
but oh, uh, I didn't. I got bullied. Um, but as a comparison to the BSA, well, you can't. I'm not. I'm not even going to try. There are a lot of similarities in the. You know, they're both a bike of today. If they brought out a gold star with alloy wheels, everyone would have cried murder. Um, but you know, for these sort of conditions, um, they're more practical. Um, but then the BSA has got those USB and the USB-C, that's really thinking ahead. And the electric takeoff. And the valve clear, uh, uh, valve check at 24,000 miles. Don't know what it is on these, but I should imagine it's something similar. Um, except the BSA will be a bit cheaper to service, I should imagine. But saying that, uh, Buddy hasn't cost me a lot in servicing. No, very reasonable. Uh, in fact, I doubt I could actually supply the parts for the same price that they charge, but that's probably largely because of um, oil price, I should think. I should think they buy oil an awful lot cheaper. It's funny, I know, I know that it's thawing, but still makes you a bit wary doesn't it especially when it's wet I mean this is just lovely I feel so lucky to be out riding um, and not to have to clean the bike when I get back because some poor bugger's gonna have to clean this so oh, I'm sorry about that but I had to do it I had to do this check um, to take these bikes off as to whether they can be compared to the BSA yeah uh, low speed very easy very smooth none of the jerking that you get with the 1200 um, because five speed box um, so I guess can compare that to the BSA. The BSA's got five speed box. Brakes, these Brembo's were got stuck on a bit of uh, roadwork patch then. Yeah, cracking the road. Um, um, I, I think um, it's possible that the, the brakes on the BSA are better than this but then it's stopping less weight I think um, don't know what these weigh I suspect that they're probably about 20 kilos or so but this feels similar in weight but I do know that it is heavier so maybe the weight is better distributed not that there's anything wrong with the weight on the BSA, of course. Um, you know, I'm just trying to look for little things. Uh, but no, in general, they can't be compared. Uh, both the price difference is too great, the engine size is different too great, the number of cylinders is, <laughs> is too great. <laughs> uh, yeah <laughs> doesn't sound much when you say it's only got one more cylinder but when you say it's got twice as many cylinders <laughs> it's a different story isn't it um, but as a bike in its own right this absolutely splendiferous which would I have the BSA or this well I've already got Buddy so oh, um as much as huh, I know people are going to be uh, arguing about this but oh, which would I have? Street Twin 
or, or the BSA. Well, at this moment, at this very moment, my feeling is I'd rather have the BSA. And I don't know whether that's just because one, it's new, or two, because I've already got Buddy. And Buddy satisfies this uh, need for this bike. And there was a great need for this bike when I rode it earlier in the year. It is a marvellous bike and they're not too expensive really. Um, so there you go. Yeah. Um, a non-comparison video. Yeah. Uh, I guess we've got to do some others as well. But like I say, I think they're all individuals. Oh, it is a marvellous sound. It's so easy to balance as well. So, let's just get off it here. Uh, side stand down. You already know, we've already discussed the lack of a centre stand. But, there we go. Uh, Suffolk Triumph, thank you very much once again. Uh, Triumph Speed Twin, although this is the Street Twin, same thing. Uh, thank you very much, a splendiferous motorbike. Um, I highly recommend that you give one a go, yeah.